the objectionable schism between a higher law applying to kings and a lower law applying to regular folks exists under democratic conditions just as, just as before. Um, it exists in the form of the difference between a higher public law that applies to public officials and a lower private law that applies to regular, uh, to regular folks. Under democracy, everyone is equal in so far as entry into government is open to all on equal terms. Everyone can become king, so to speak, not only a privileged circle of people. Thus, in democracy, no personal privileges or privileged persons exist. However, functional privileges and privileged functions exist. Public officials, as long as they act in an official capacity, are governed and protected by public law and occupy thereby a privileged position vis-a-vis -vis persons acting under the mere authority of private law. To give you examples, um, public officials, for instance, are permitted to finance or subsidize their own activities through taxes. If, as a private person, I simply take your money out of your wallet, this is considered to be a criminal offense and I will be punished. If, as a public official, I come to you and do exactly the same thing, this falls under public law, is considered to be a legal activity. Um, if, as a private law, I take you and beat you up and force you to work for me day and night, this would be considered kidnapping, uh, slavery, and whatever, and is, of course, a great offense. If I do that as a public official, then it is called public, public service, military draft, and things like this is perfectly all right. If, as a private citizen, I take your money and against your will and then give it to somebody else, this is considered to be stealing and fencing of stolen good. If I do that as a public official, then this is, then this is called social policy or redistribution of income. Uh, from the point of those people who are affected by it, it makes absolutely no difference. So you realize quite clearly that there exists this difference between a higher law applying to public officials, functionaries, and a lower law applying to normal citizens is just as much preserved under democratic conditions as it existed um, under, um, under, monarch, uh, under monarchies. Um, you can say, so to speak, uh, privilege and legal discrimination and the distinction between rulers and subjects will not disappear under democracy. To the contrary, rather than being restricted to princes and nobles, under democracy, privileges will be available to all. Everyone can engage in theft and live of stolen loot if only he becomes a public official. 